So this short video is on the positive use of thought in meditation. One of the directions of thinking about meditation is how to be make your thinking more fine and more directed and more in keeping with the ability to stay with an open, alive sense of presence and awareness. And one of the ways of doing this is to actually experiment with different kinds of commands and questions in the meditation. So let's say, for example, uh, you're paying attention to the breath and you want to, you notice that you're getting a little bit distance. You're, you're not as engaged with the breath as you'd like to be or you could be. So you drop in the word closer. Now the way, the tone of voice within your mind is very important here. And you can sort of experiment with what it would just naturally happen if you say that. Are you tending to be a bit hard and harsh? Get closer! Or uh, on the other pole, as it were, of, oh, get a bit closer if you like, you know. And, uh, <laughs> there, somewhere in between, there is a, a tone which is suggestive and inviting and gentle, but at the same time quite directed, closer. And you find that voice, as it were, or that tone of thought within yourself. You're looking for it and being open to it and experimenting in your meditation so that you are sensitive to the tone of the voice that you have. And the tone, when it comes, can reveal quite a lot to you about what kind of frame of mind you're in. If it's very harsh and even sort of vindictive or punitive rather, uh, you know that perhaps you're in that state of mind underneath and just hadn't noticed. So in using words like closer, arrive, hear, settle, you're, you're not just using the words but you're using the tone as well. And the tone also conveys a huge amount to you and to your mind. So it's as much the, the, the tone that communicates what is needed as the actual word itself. So in this example of closer into the breath, you notice that these are quite sort of experiential words and that's very important in this process. That the words are not abstract but they're direct. You can actually have a sense of being more distant and further away or closer and more engaged. You can have the experience of being out of presence or out of awareness and in and into experience. You can have the experience of your mind being uh, very unsettled and lots going on and it being quite settled and engaged. And it's the same in a way with the word engaged. You can have a sense of what it's like to be disengaged and out of contact with your experience and distant and, and unfeeling even. And engaged is actually in uh, the experience of what is happening, the feelings, the sensations, the qualities, the energy of your mind. So in thinking, using thinking in the meditation, you're looking for something, a, a way of thinking that has a, a, a direct, clear tone, but is gentle. And that the way of thinking, I, I would suggest, is very fine, and very subtle, rather than very sort of in your face, as it were, very obvious. 
it's more delicate, it's more backward, it's more happening more in the back of your mind rather than the f at the front of your mind. That's in a way a way of exploring it anyway. But our principle here with this kind of meditative thinking is that you can have these little suggestions or invitations or you could say commands and they don't take you away from your experience. They don't take you into another world of thinking. They happen simultaneously with experience. So you can be feeling, noticing, in touch and the uh, suggestion happening at the same time. And this is, I think, an, a very important benchmark to this kind of meditation, meditative thinking. It's, uh, you could almost say, diaphanous. It's transparent. It's there, but your experience can be seen through it. And this is another area of exploration. And it's interesting. It's interesting to take it on uh, as a project in your meditation to use thinking in a way which is gentle, directed and clear, has a, a kind tone even, and has this sense of being translucent, which allows you to have your experience, be in touch with your experience, while you're actually having the thought. And in this way, the thought actually becomes part of the process of becoming more absorbed rather than the kind of thought that takes you away and distracts you from being present and alive to your experience.